have you checked the children? Oh, oh, hi, I'm Chuck. Hi, I'm Chuck. Hi, I'm Chuck. Hi, I'm Chuck. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And you got Jaime and Fuego here. And we're here to do another comics review, as much as I know you guys love these. Yeah, but... you watch them constantly. <laughs> constantly. All of you. Um, <laughs> All 60-something of you. But you might watch this one. This one is for the five-issue Final Destination Spring Break comic book series that was done by Zenoscope. Yeah, we wouldn't uh, hold it against you if you didn't read it. No, <laughs> no. And we won't hold it against you if you don't read it after this review, to be quite honest. Um, Although this is the 20th anniversary of the original film. So, okay. I mean, maybe that has, some, that has some precedence here for us to be reviewing this little spinoff of sorts. <sighs> Yeah. So let's get into it, Fuego. Uh, that expression says it all. Yeah, pretty um, much. You go ahead and tackle the story. I'm going to show some stuff. Um, <laughs> real quick, though, let's give proper accreditation where credit is due. I suppose so. <laughs> uh, it is written by Mike Calvoda and pencils by Lan Medina. Lan Medina actually went on, has had a very successful comics career in a lot of, in both DC uh, and Marvel, I believe. Well, but... I must admit, I do enjoy a lot of the artwork, but uh, not to throw the writer under the bus, but this is... It is okay. so boring. Final Destination If it was four, part of the which... movie series, it would be the worst one in the series. Amen the to I that. A amen to that. So, yeah. the Final Destination, which I think was the fourth film in the franchise. Fifth. Uh, fifth. Well, well, there well, were well, five. Well, well, there was Final Destination 5, and then there was The Final Destination, that was the oh, fourth was... film that came right before... I thought the final destination was the final one. No, no, no. no unfortunately, are you sure? Not. I'm pretty positive. I'm pretty I would sure actually, you're wrong. I would put money on that one actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because they they named the final destination, which was the fourth film, and then Final Destination Five, because I really? bought them on Blu-ray. Oh, recently. I think you're right. It shows how they are like re regaling on their stupidity. Blech. Anyway, um, this one is essentially about a girl who was going on spring break to Cancun. And lo and behold, Woo! yeah, exactly. She Spring has break! She, just like you always have to have a character that has this. Fuck, you're right. No, yeah, you're right. yeah. There was always a character right. because I just repurchased all of them recently because <laughs> I wanted to rewatch them. I've been stuff. tempted to get a Blu-ray set if they have it. Yeah, man. But um, yeah. So they of course are. It takes place on Spring Break. Yeah, they're, they're heading to Cancun for the, the art. Spring isn't break. bad. It's no. just. It's decent. It's, I mean, it's, it's not like, bad. It's not. It's not. It's it's not great, but it's when good. When did this come out? I mean, again? it's got it hot like, curves. Was it shit. was it mid two thousands? Uh, you want me to find out the exact date? I can give that to you. It oh. is March two thousand and six, my good sir. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of just the way the colors looked, and it know, does. The, it does look like a yeah. mid two thousands. Yeah, it, it it really does sort of in thing. That but so, but uh, what we get is a big ass explosion. This is at the a vision. hotel at in a hotel. Cancun, mm -hmm. and so. She, when she is on this plane, you're thinking initially, oh, is the plane going to be like the, you know, there's totems of the involved stuff. now for some stupid reason. Yeah, yeah, because of the fact that taking place in uh, Mexico, they try to tie in the oh, Mayans yeah, and there's yeah. that older woman who shows up later in the series and stuff like that. Uh, it's... I'll take the Freddy base. versus the Mayans okay. as opposed to this. Biggest thing that I will say is my gripe with this series is the fact that the kills are not very interesting. Final Destination lives and dies by its kills. It took quite that, well, yes, quite it frankly. lives and dies by its kills. It's a great way. Of, <laughs> it's a great, great way of putting. I it. I mean, but, I meant to do that. You know, of course, that was very deliberate. Mm -hmm. No, no, but there are no interesting deaths in this series. No. It is really just scene after scene. I'm going to show you some because pff, I don't care. Well, there's and I don't many, want you to waste your money on well, this. Well, I mean, there was something like parasailing and then they fall towards the rudder of the boat and then there's a girl yeah. who's like swimming under and they put the sheath over... Uh, you so know, here's 12, issue number two. Yeah, yeah, 12 feet deep style. Or Zenoscope, deep, by the way, know. the Zenoscope company... And by the way, they got the New Line Cinema approval here because well, they got of course. that time. How but, else would they have been able to work with this property? But, but Zenoscope got popular by doing the Dark Wonderland stuff. Oh, yes, that's Return right. Return to Wonderland which they, which with the Cheshire actually... Cat is a big, giant, evil cat monster. And yeah, stuff where like it's that. like a sexy Wonderland sort of yeah, story. We've actually exactly talked right. with we some have. other people here on the channel before. I think we might have reviewed um, that first volume at some point. Their stuff is... But... Much better than what we're dealing with here, I must admit. Yeah, so that's why this guy's like parasailing and... Yeah, know, well, and like they try and do the, it. oh, you think it's going to be the parasailer that's the problem. Yeah. But they, they misdirect, right? They misdirect and it's not who you think is going to die yeah, that actually dies necessarily. Yeah, but... The deaths I mean, are the not... art isn't bad. It's no, just, no, no, no. The it's art just is pretty good, not man. Not great. 
Yeah, the, the biggest issue with this is that they go and they search these Mayan ruins and they talk with that older woman who sends them on this tangent path and it doesn't really amount to much of anything aside from more creepy a lot of flashback like like interior and and the dialogue is boring as balls it oh this was so, so stupid i mean it, this was a, this is maybe the worst kill in the entire thing and the fact that they're like oh mercury blah 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 they don't she, dro show. she has her thermometer the thermometer drops and it cracks barely she throws it back in her mouth barely and then the mercury cracks. the mercury slides into her throat and uh, she has this Dead. ridiculous reaction where she dies and breaks a bone and falls and stuff. It's just and falls like, on really? the fucking proverbial skeleton and stuff. Yeah. It's just, my goodness. She gets it's, impaled on the skeleton's ribs. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I still had so many more amusing just instances with the other Final Destination movies. I mean, two was the last one that I thought was good. Three, four, and five were just kind of meh. But nonetheless, they still had amusing kills, most notably stuff like, you know, the, the, the tanning bed, the, you know, girl, the, she was the gymnast and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are great kills in some of the later Final Destination films. This comic has no memorable kills. Donuts, nothing whatsoever. And the storytelling... Uh, though, and the way they explain how she knows who's coming next doesn't even make sense. No, it's like the flight plan of seating yeah the or flight whatever. seating plan but yeah. it's not even how the fire affected everyone yeah which is a, which is obviously a ripoff of the first film mm -hmm. and the fact that yeah they were like okay this person There's would have died Mayan first that person about. would have died second and it's just so uninspired dare i say this is so much a cash grab of a popular property that it just sickens me i hate to talk that much shit man but it's even, really, even this, it's really the way I feel about it. Even this. this scuba scene that could have been so much cooler ends up in such a lame death. It's yeah. like, oh, really? That's how we're doing it? Yeah, and they don't even have like inspiringly like gory deaths either. There's actually not a lot of blood in this comic, believe it or it's not. It's literally something There's... that involves a forklift. How boring are we getting at this point? Yeah, and that's where Garcia Garcia, whoever approved the name of the inspector to be Garcia Garcia, my god. Anyway. You mean that's not clever, Fuego? <laughs> Feels clever to me. I would imagine it's intending to be, even if it <laughs> defeated the purpose and, like, magnificent. <laughs> so, overall, I think we're both in agreement that this was just a super lackluster story. I love this franchise. I can even enjoy the shittiness of the later films, and they're working on a new one right now. You know, Jeffrey mm -hmm. Reddick follows me on Twitter, for God's sake. He is a very awesome, uh, you know... Shit. It's just, yeah. it's just the same. It's super. It pops with color. It does. So it's nice. And and again, the artwork is good. The artwork is is fine, but the kills are just yeah. so boring. Yeah. Which when you're approaching a franchise that is all about of TNA, the of uniqueness course. of the kills, I mean, what else do you have to really entice you? And how are you not going to go? You? How are you not going to go with the nudity if you're going with TNA? By the way, this was a stretch. This the sign pointing this out was yeah, such a stretch. Yeah. Like I hesitate to show it, but there's something because the main act, the main the main actress, the main character, starts to see signs of things that point to the deaths that are coming, mm -hmm. and you don't always know what the signs are that she's seeing. But you know, in retrospect, you can go back and be like, oh yeah, that was the sign. And she talks about and it one of the deaths the point. Yeah. is such a it's a sign that's so on the nose, and you're like really that's how they're pulling that off and it's just it's just not great i'm, I'm hesitating showing you some stuff because obviously Spoilers. with issue four and five yeah. we're getting into spoiler territory but i want to at least show you the covers and 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 go over this so artwork, must admit artwork wise that, for you fuego what is, i mean i mean i must admit bad, right? dude i really like the covers of this the covers series. are the best thing about they are it, they frankly. are very especially some of these painted works man they are very dope looking and well in every if, the weird thing is every cover says final destination death never takes a vacation and i thought that's what it was but then on the inside it's it's always Final Destination Spring Break, part yeah, yeah, yeah. five of five. So it's called Spring Break, well, even though they like have the, a tagline. It's like the tagline, tagline, tagline versus the. I understand what like it is, but it's yeah. not well defined. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this behold, this I, fifth issue is all about them trying to be saved and get away via yeah. chopper. Yeah, and I must say the fifth issue was the most just action packed. It's 
it's inane. That's not in, bad. in the well, yeah, that is one thing that's kind of interesting, but it gives so little explanation for the resolution. Yeah, you know, it just is nerve wracking in that regard, man. It's just really, I mean. Yes, there's very little dialogue. It's all booms and blood and craziness and whatever. And then you still see her like looking. Yeah, the fact she, that you tie she still in looks this in the old mirror lady. And, and it has no no real purpose. No, like, oh, the end makes no fucking sense at all. Donuts, man. The Sorry, I'm not supposed no to sense. do that. Well, I'm nothing. I know. Yeah, yeah. white power yeah. man over here. No. No. <laughs> the, the, sorry, know, sorry, everybody. The <laughs> end makes no sense. It's so over the top. And so, I'm not going to show you, just in case you want to waste your time or money with this. But guys, there is a trade paperback that is out is that, they, that they oh, advertise at the back half God. of that issue as I reviewed it. Uh, if you want to waste your time and you're a completionist like I am, you have to watch all the sequels. This is unfortunately one of those, and it is garbage it's on the same i have two different species for issue hmm. series that i refuse to review for this channel because they're just they're direct rips from the movie and they're just not interesting well, and, and this honestly, is not interesting in that case, either if i'm not going to see natasha henstridge's nope. beautiful breast like what is well the you see point? breasts but you don't see hers you natasha see natasha henstridge's beautiful breasts fair enough fair Come enough on. All right, relax, like, relax. perfect yep. calm down do you need anyway, time alone here or maybe what? in a second all <laughs> right fair enough <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for our review of Final of Destination <laughs> Spring Break, this just not good comic book series. Yeah, just avoid it, guys. It's disappointing, man. It you is. Know, but, especially uh, in the wake of the 20th anniversary of the franchise, this is not where you should be putting your eyeballs. Watch ironically, I was so much more expected. There was two um, uh, branded reviews that we're doing comic book-wise, the Final Destination one and then a Lost Boys four-issue series. And i got to say, I was way more entertained by the Lost Boys series when I was fully expecting it to be crap and this one to be good. It just, they flip-flopped on me. I need to watch those, The Tribe, and then what's the but other read one? read the comics uh, first. It's it's okay. a prequel to The Tribe. And then, okay, but there's the other comic, uh, the DC one. That the, that has the, nothing the, to do the, with the you. That, that, okay. That's later. That that's actually ties thing. in with the first uh, one. Yeah. Okay. It has nothing to do with that continuity. Well, cool. <laughs> I'm going to order those comics. It's going to cost me like 40 bucks to get them, but yeah. I need them. I need them at this no, point. I no, have the other ones. You'll see them in about two months because of how strange shipping stuff is right So now. we're going we're gonna to cover Lost Boys 2, but that's going to do it for our Final Destination comics review. That's it for the Final Destination stories. Um, we need to review the actual movies, but it was just this one in the comics. So I would love to review this movie. We do. We need year, to do that series yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, so that first movie, man, escalated. Dude, they're all forever. fun. They're all yeah. fun. So let Second us know in the comments down movie. below if you're interested at Sorry. all in this comic book series. I wouldn't recommend you would be, but if you are, good for you. Let us know what your thoughts are. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird. And Gracias, Oppenheimer. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.